For thousands of years, we have dreamt of immortality, the Greeks speculating on the magic nectar making people immortal, or modern authors creating timeless characters such as the elves in the Lord of the Rings. But what if immortality was in fact attained thanks to a solubic process called transdifferentiation, which enables cells to age in reverse? To understand transdifferentiation, we must first see how normal differentiation works. The first few cellular divisions during the body's development provide every living organism with a set of immature and unspecialized stem cells called pluripotent. This means that they can differentiate into any type of cell. To acquire the attributes that will make them become nerve cells or pancreatic cells, for example, they have to express the genes that will give them their characteristics, like their shape or the enzymes they produce. Internal and external cues will turn selective genes on or off. The environment in which the cells mature induction or transcription factors, proteins that will encourage or hinder the binding of RNA polymerase to the genes, will trigger their expression. The cell will divide and specialize until it becomes mature and differentiated. Differentiation can technically not be reversed, but some organisms are capable of changing the specialization of their cells thanks to transdifferentiation. Take newts, for example. The specimen has lost its eye after a fight with another newt for a worm. Thanks to transdifferentiation, though, it can grow it back. The stress caused by the injury will act as a cue for RPE cells to change their gene expression. Just like during initial differentiation, transcription factors and the conditions in the cell's microenvironment will influence the expression of certain genes. The cells revert to a state of multipotency. This is called dedifferentiation. By reprogramming these cells' genes in the same way to redifferentiate them, the newt will create a new set of specialized retinal progenitor cells to replace its eye. Strictly speaking, though, transdifferentiation is a transformation of a mature cell into another type of specialized cell. They're going through dedifferentiation. The only living organism capable of undergoing this process is a tiny jellyfish called Turritopsis dornai. Jellyfish start their life cycle as eggs, then grow into polyps which generate adult individuals. If Turritopsis dornai, stressed by an injury, an illness or the lack of food during its adult life, can revert its entire body back to the state of polyp. As in dedifferentiation, transcription cues will activate the right genes, which will turn the jellyfish cells directly into polyp cells when they divide. The jellyfish therefore turns back to an embryonic state and is able to generate adult specimens again. If we can't identify the genes and transcription factors which regulate transdifferentiation and avoid the growth of tumours during the process, could potentially use it to facilitate organ transplants and cure illnesses such as Alzheimer's and cancer.